green is cement as a as a material, it's obviously not very green or sustainable because of the amount of energy it takes to just to make one cubic meter of cement. I'm sorry, that, that's as bad as it is. Now, the cement industry, the ACI, the American Creed Institute, we just had the president here. Uh, I don't know if you guys were here. Yeah, he was. He gave a lecture, and when you ask him about that, he will tell you. Uh, he will. There's another another slide. Yeah, per cubic meter of cement, there's a lot of CO2 produced. The carbon footprint of a cubic meter of cement is very high. But when you factor in the lifetime, and if you build it out of wood, maybe have to replace it after 20 or 30 years. You build it out of cement, it can last for 100 years. So when you factor time, it starts becoming a little less unsustainable. All right. So, but it's still not a very sustainable material. All right, because of that. But we export, we are one of the largest exports, one of the largest exporting countries that export cement all over. Yeah, but if you look in detail, I mean, uh, more than 75% of the cement industry in Egypt belongs to international companies. Uh, well, it didn't used to, but it now does. Yeah, yeah it now does. <laughs> uh, and so because the, the, the inputs of cement are what? I mean, remember, you guys, anybody remember what they put as limestone? Limestone and clay. So we have lots straight. of limestone. We have lots of clay. Yeah, so it's a lot cheaper in Egypt. In Egypt and other places. And we have very cheap energy. We have very cheap energy. Now, what they're doing lately is that they are, and, and because their energy, by the way, I mean, they pay, these factories pay as much in energy as much as we do. So, and we, our energy is very highly subsidized. So now what they're doing, I don't know if you guys read the newspaper a couple of days ago, they are going to tax or charge them yeah. higher costs than energy. Well, move, the, move the factories uh, to other places. They're trying to move the factories to other places, but, but to charge them more costs per uh, energy, Millions, I see. Uh, it's a lot of 200 money. 200 million. Yeah, it's a lot of money. The amount of energy they use is huge. All right, now I'll leave you with that. Thank you. Doctor, the the rock time signature is in Farid. Can I make a motion? As you all know, that as you all know, that before that Egypt has a lot of production production companies of cement, who pretty much produce a lot of mostly all the types of cement that are available. First, I'm going to start with the ordinary Portland cement. It's it's a general purpose uh, cement that could be used for for like general construction work, but it's not really uh, resistant to sulfate. So we won't use it for foundation and like in soils where there's a high content or violent environment for some say. Uh, there are two types for the for the ordinary Portland cement, the N and the R type. The only the only difference would be in the sulfate content, which you can see here. Uh, the R type has uh, does 4.5 percent more than the N type. But um, I don't really I, I couldn't understand why how how would that make a difference. But as we see from the compressive strength, it both should have the same compressive strength after 28 days. Then there's a Portland limestone cement, which is a composite of different uh, kinds of uh, Portland cement, like about 19 kinds. The only difference is that it makes that uh, it, it has a. If, if you look here, the, init the initial setting time is 60 minutes. But for the other one, it has, it has increased to 75, and the compressive strength, strength has, has decreased. So it's used also for, for general purpose building, but it's not for foundation and for reinforced concrete because it has a lower uh, strength. What's it called in Arabic? Oh, Torah. That was the one. It's important to find yeah, then, 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 um, also, it, it's it's uh, good for mass uh, pouring of concrete and also in warm uh, in warm uh, atmosphere for climate. Then there is the OPC superfine, 
this one is the fine uh, vertical cement, uh, which which allows uh, for um, a quick uh, uh, setting of the cement. So here, the fine and setting time would be from about 2.5 hours to 10 hours. Uh, so it could be used for like quick, uh, for quick construction purposes, but not very high strength ones. So like here, it could be used for forms that need to be removed. Did you say, you say it has a high early strength cement? No, 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 a, a, a high setting, a fast setting time. It's, 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 it's a high early strength cement which provides high strength at early periods. It's you a high early strength that. cement. Yes, okay, which is true. But how come the compressive strength at 420 meters is the same as the other one? Yeah, maybe I should have got a look. Like, um, oh, at like two days, maybe the compressive strength would be higher than the, the other one. Strength means it's the strength curve. Okay, the, the, in the first one. And it's why the, the comparison strength? here is as the 28 days. Okay. Why, why, two why two days, do you need higher strength? Mm -hmm. so I need the structure that is dry and it uh, fast, so I could, and this has some strength in it, so I could like take off the form or do other things with some work. Remember, and remember this when we talk about this tomorrow. Okay, remember this when we talk about this tomorrow. Now, it has high early strength. How does it get to the early strength? Why, what makes OPC? OPC is called super fine. Mm -hmm. why, is it, why does it get to the more surface area? So the finer the cement, the stronger, the higher the early strength. The finer the cement. However, the finer the cement, the more strength. Yeah, the more strength is strong. Okay. Then there's the blast furnace cement, which is a blend of Portland cement and finally ground granulated slab, a furnace slab, uh, which makes How is the blast furnace cement different than the black piece? Oh, when I was checking with the way cement, uh, the same thing. production product, they had to do a separate thing. Okay. A, a slag, a slag being a blast furnace. Uh, the slag, uh, I think it doesn't mention here that it has any, I don't know. Okay. Honestly, I don't know anything. Okay. Both, the, both specifications, you read the specs now? So you according to the specs, it's, it's, it's the same specification. Four, five, seven, six, one, go back. It is the same one. I'm the one who's done it. Yeah. But I have some way. It's the same to me. Mm. But I have, like, uh, on my laptop, like, it's the same to the specification in detail. Like they might the be different. That's what are the differences we want to know. Okay, I'll, I'll check them. I'll check and find out. Okay. Then there's the, the most important one, the sulfate resistance. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, there might be clear, I don't know. It's just that I know that the most the same thing, I could be wrong. Okay, I'll check it. Uh, the sulfate resistance cement, as the said, it, it all depends on the C3A content of in the cement. So the lower it is, the higher resistance the cement has. So as the soil is needed, it's pretty bond, barometer, so it's very violent and has high sulfate content, especially near the shores of our cities, as the said. said. That's why that's the, the most commonly used, commonly used uh, cement type. Um, and there's the white Portland cement. This one uh, differs from the gray, normally normal gray cement just in the color. Uh, so it's mainly used for decorative purposes. Um, but once I, when I checked the compressive strength, it was pretty much the same uh, as the uh, as the normal ordinary Portland cement, so it could still be used, but we have to, like, to take into account the aggregates that we put in the, in the mix. Hey, I just want to mention something, you know, like the ordinary Portland cement is the cheapest one, and like in any slight change in the, in the cement thickness, they put extra more, yes, three more prices. And the reason for that, that they don't use this for uh, normal construction work is because of its, uh, its soundness. It's not as good as the ordinary Portland cement. That's why this one is only used for the decorative purposes, and the ordinary Portland cement is used for the general construction work.